Konstantin Radu, yeah. as the OTAs are getting more and more popular, what do you think about the future of the hotel businesses? Okay, very, very insightful. So I want to focus on, on three aspects, Malik. So yeah. uh, hopefully I can, get, I can get people on board and, and they will remember what, uh, what are the three points. I would, I would say the first one is uh, regulation. They yeah. need to understand that they need to push on a political level. I have a piece of news from nine days ago in Germany, a high court in Karlsruhe stopped Booking.com forcing the hotels to have the cheapest room on, on Booking.com. This is a super nice piece of legislation for the for the hoteliers. Before Booking.com was pushing, 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 and now yeah. they are able to, to fight back. So in any country, even if you're from the US, you're from Turkey, from Europe, you need to do a bit of political pressure. This is, uh, this is level number one. Level number two, I want to, to tell a small, uh, a small story. Um, two years ago, someone from uh, Egypt who has a hotel in Shamashi came to our stand in the World Travel Market and mentioned that Booking.com closed his contract, which oh. normally it, would, it wouldn't be a problem. But this closing of the contract actually meant that he went down by occupancy by 94%. So, and this is happening not uh, 10 years ago, it's happening now. What I want to recommend to people and to hotel, hotels in general, not the, not, the, not the big chains, because the big chains are already there, what we call boutique or unique hotels. Please invest in channel managers. Please invest in a solution so you can be present if you are an American brand, because we're for the, for the US conference. If you are in America and you have a hotel in America, invest in having a channel manager solution that is going to cater to uh, South America. If people mm -hmm. are coming during the, the spring, invest in a solution for Europe, for people coming in summer and invest also for a solution in Asia. So you need to be distributed and you need your rates to be available across the board. This is the second option. So the first one is political uh, regulation because these people will not self-regulate. The second one is distribution, distribution. And the third one, invest in marketing. And mm -hmm. by marketing, I mean, stop investing in stuff. I have examples of hotels in Dubai, boutique hotels in Dubai that have people that smile when you uh, exit the elevator. It's a, it's, a, it's a very nice feeling. You feel very well when people are smiling when you're exiting the elevator. But in all reality, they need to know who is the traveler, when they are booking, what is the booking window, to know more about the traveler than just have people all around and, and to move from very staff focused companies into being more technology focused, to have to have reports, to have BIs and uh, to have business intelligence in order to be able to retarget those people. All the big brands I'm traveling to as hotels are retargeting me nonstop and they know what I'm, where I am and what I'm doing and when, I, when I'm traveling for a, for a next event all the small hotels, all the small brands never come back. I leave their door and I never, I never hear from them again. That's it. This, these are the three points from me. Thank you so much. Thank you.